Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you what page breaks are in Word. So I've just got a demonstration document up here. And the first thing you'll need to know is how to actually insert your page break. So let's say, for example, I wanted to put my cursor here and I wanted a new page and I wanted to break this page so that all of this text here and everything after it goes on to a new page. So I need to go up to insert and I just click on insert a page break. And as you can see, Word has pushed all the text to the next page. Now at the moment your page break is there but you can't actually see it. And it's a really good idea to see it because then if you need to delete it or if it's moved or you're not quite sure where it is, then you need the tools to enable you to see it. So let's go up to the Home tab and go on to this icon here, the show hide formatting marks. And you can see once we switch them on, we can see our page break is here. Now you can click your cursor after it and continue to type, but as you press enter, your cursor will then end up on the next page. If you need to add text to this page, then you need to put your cursor before the page break so after the word theme here and my full stop, if I press enter, I can continue to type. However, if I continue to type on this page, I'm just pressing the return key and my text fills this page. When I filled that page and I go to the next page, you can see Word has added another new blank page. Now, let me demonstrate that using some further text. So let's go down to the bottom of this page here. And let's say you wanted to insert a new blank page between these two pages and enable you to insert some more text or some images. So I put my cursor at the bottom here, I insert my page break, go up to insert and press break. And you can see it's added a completely new blank page. Now if I was to fill this page with text, so let's just copy some of the text here and I'm going to place it before the page break and paste it in. Once again, if I continue to type on this page, you can see the page break will go down the page. Once it's gone to the next page, it will insert a new blank page because you've broken that page at the bottom. Now, if you don't want that and you want the text over here to continue on from this page and you don't want this blank page anymore, then all you need to do is highlight this page break and press the delete key. And it will just delete that new blank page. Now, let's just delete this one. Now the other type of break that you can have, or page break, is a section break. And once again, if I just click down here on my page and go up to layout, go to breaks, and you'll see here there are section breaks. And the section breaks can be used to insert a new section on a new blank page or continue from where your cursor is. You can also have even and odd pages. So let's just use next page. Click on that. So you have this funny double line here which indicates there is a section break. So if I click on this first page here and go down to here, you'll see section one. If you can't see section one, hover your mouse over the bottom bar and right click. And then you can see what's checked and what isn't checked. If you make sure that section is checked, you'll be able to see this section one at the bottom. If I click on page two, you can see that we're now in section two. So Word has basically divided this page from the rest of the document. So this is section one now, up until this funny double line at the bottom, and then we've got the rest of the document. What that means is that if I just want to select a portion of my Word document and format it slightly differently, if I just select this element here and decide to go to layout and divide it into two columns, I can just section off this part here. 
you can see that this part here has been sectioned off from the first page. Now if I decided that the third and fourth page I want them to go back to just one column I can go down to the bottom here I can go back up to layout go to breaks click next page and then once again I can highlight this section here go back up to columns and select one so what that will mean is that section two will always be columns so if I go to the end here if I just begin to type before this section break hit the paste button paste button again so you can see section one will always remain one column while section two has moved down onto a new page and once again if I click down at the bottom here and I continue to type it will type in columns because this is all part of section 2 so between this line here this line here this is a section and then at the beginning of your document to this line here it's the first section so you can see this is section 1 if I click here and here go to here we're on section 2, you can see down the bottom here and then if we click down here we're now in section 3. So I hope that's helped you today, if it has please subscribe and have a great day.